Hey guys, I'm from Nekest and uh, today we are going to talk about do you know who introduced lock, liquid rocket fuel technology in India? So, it was Nabi Narayanan, the renewed Indian scientist and aerospace engineer from Kerala. He was mainly in charge of cryogenic TV. Narayanan introduced the liquid fuel technology in India in the early 1970s when APJ Abdul Kalam's team was working on solid motors. He foresaw the need for liquid fuel engines for ISRO's future civilian space programs and received encouragement from then ISRO chairman Satish Dhawan and his successor UR Rao Narayanan. Developed liquid propellant motors first building a successful 600 kg thrust engine in the mid 1970s and thereafter moving on to bigger engines. After working for nearly two decades with French assistance, Narayanan's team developed the Vikas engine used by several ISRO rockets including the polar satellite launch vehicle that took Chandrayaan-1 to the moon in 2008. The Vikas engine is used in the second stage of PSLV and the second and the fourth strap-on stages of geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. In 1994, Narayanan was falsely charged with leaking vital defense secrets to two alleged Maldivian intelligence officers. He has been falsely accused as a spy leading to his suspension from his job as head of ISRO's Liquid Propulsion Center and director of the just launch indigenous cryogenic engine project. Narayanan had to spend 50 days in jail for a crime he did not commit. The charges against him were dismissed by the Central Bureau of Investigation in 1996 and the Supreme Court of India declared him not guilty in 1998. Once the court cleared Narayanan, the ISRO reinstated instated him but Narayanan says he was given a desk job and not allowed to return to his work on indigenous cryogenic engine till his retirement in 2001. By doing so the work on project he was working got delayed by at least five years. Instead of joining his colleagues in celebrating the India's moon mission, the unsung hero of Chandrayaan was were fighting court cases. In 2018, the Supreme Court awarded Narayanan a compensation of Rs 50 lakh. He is the unsung hero of India's moon mission. So, that's all for now. Thank you for following Nikist and being a Nikistian.